Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so last time we talked, we had talked about this going down to test the daily mid-band. It did that. Yesterday's low, it rejected in Globex, 57.25 off of the daily mid-band. It went up to test the weekly pivot last night, traded as high as 85.25. They rejected that all the way back down to 27.62. So we're just basically stuck in this range this sloppy range between weekly pivot. You can see an attempt here Sunday night, they couldn't hold it. Attempt here, that was straight resistance. Attempt to convert last night, couldn't hold it, okay? They pushed below the daily mid band, that was rejected. They confirmed it as support, rejected it again, and now we're back in here. So you've got this 2750s, 52 to, to 81, and you got a little, you had some overshoots above and you had a, a big overshoot to the downside Monday night on some news. But effectively, between weekly pivot and daily mid-band, they are battling it out over the next leg of the market. Plenty of volatility, plenty of volatility, which cuts both ways. So, um, you know, we've had 20 handle runners uh, this week. We've had minus fives this week. And that's how, you know, that's how volatility cuts. It cuts in both directions. It's been a good week. Uh, but it's been, for me, it's been a pretty inconsistent week. We did 37 handles on Tuesday, and then on Monday and Wednesday, we basically broke even. So it's been a good week, but it's been inconsistent. So uh, right now, what we're seeing on the five minute chart is resistance up at 72.5 uh, in the area of, of VWAP, volume weighted average price. So we're short 70, 70 half actually and we've got some profits taken there on the move down to 66, 66.25, and we've got our risk out. So we'll see if they wanna push this back and retest 62. If 72 to 74 wants to go support again, then they can go ahead and retest 81. If it can't, then I think you need a retest of anywhere from 62, potentially down to 55. Um, but the bottom line is we continue to battle between these two big areas. Uh, and we're battling for effectively the next leg of the market. Um, what the bulls want is the move from uh, uh, the, the upper band ride of a couple of weeks ago to simply come back and test the area of uh, daily mid band, hop up and make a higher high. If that happens, then we'll be printing something with the 28 on the front of it in, you know, real quick. What the bears would like is what we've been doing. Upper band, middle band, lower band. They'd like to head down and test that round number 2700 and see what the market looks like down there. Um, and we're battling over which one of those moves we're gonna take now, okay? So we're battling over the next 50 handles in either direction. That can be volatile, it can be choppy. Um, so you just have to, you know, you have to understand if you're short-term trading that you are short-term trading long-term inflection points and at times that can get messy so be careful all right uh, stick to your risk trade price and try to filter out the noise all right everybody have a fantastic day we'll be uh, out over on social in a little bit talk to you then trade them well follow us over on twitter instagram and snapchat at princeton trader check us out on facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com trade them well